Hello and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my buddy Howard riding with us from Ace Golfing Company. Hey Howard, welcome to the show. Thanks, Kevin. How are you? Good morning. Living the dream, my friend. Howard, let's start at the beginning. Give us an overview of the company. What do you do? Ace Belting is an aftermarket supplier of conveyor belting for industrial manufacturers of all kinds. So you're kind of interesting when we've spoken in the past. You've been using technology all along for your business because someone might have a machine, the belt breaks. And if you're someone like me, Howard, you're like, I need a belt. Okay, thanks, Kev, but what size is it? What type, you know? And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders. So you're able to use technology. People send you pictures, send you videos, and you can help them, right? I was actually just working with a client in Hyannis, Massachusetts, uh, a large-scale commercial bakery who I just didn't have the opportunity to get there immediately as they needed me to. So they used FaceTime and walked me through the plant, walked me through this particular machine, I talked them through literally putting a tape ruler across the belt width to get the right measurements and other specifications that we needed. Also, it's crazy helpful to actually see what needs replacement on the machine that's actually using it because there's no, there's very few standard off the shelf items, especially in food. That's all custom stuff. It is interesting, Howard, because I have a friend that owns a Subway franchise, and he did a, recently did a social media post about that. One of the machines broke, and he's like, you know, everything in my business is tied into this machine. It was the bread-making machine. Oh, no wow. bread, no sandwiches. You know, you can't be like, <laughs> Howard, we're going to cut back on cops today. You know, we're just going to, you know, give you the meat. But he's like, you know, to have somebody there that can replace that, you can't tell me, oh, well, yeah, it's probably going to be eight weeks, skills, because I'm going to be out of business. Well, that's, that's it. Primarily, you know, it, I describe it, it's akin to when you buy your car. You go to a car dealership, you buy your car, and then something happens with it. You know what? You go bring your car back to have the work done. Well, listen, Kevin, we're going to get this part. It's eight weeks. It's got to come from overseas, and uh, it's going to be $40,000, you know? And you're like, what the hell am I going to do? I can't. I got to go somewhere in the next eight weeks, you know? Yep. You go to your local mechanic who says, yeah, it's actually not that uncommon a part. You can have it made for you. You can have it made for you in four days, and it's going to cost you $1,000. Boom. That's me. I'm your local mechanic because I have 25 years' experience in conveyor belting, which is not unusual. You'd be surprised. Um, but knowing what materials do what in your application. You need better grip, less grip. You got to move it up. You got to move it down. It's not lasting long enough. Uh, it lasts too long and you got to change it anyway. What can we do? Any, any way we can help you keep your machines up and running the way you want them to be. It's interesting the role of the troublemaker, you know, finding what's going wrong with things. Because like you said, it, it can be simple. Like, I don't understand this, Howard. You know, they're telling me this pot this should last uh, two years and I'm going through it in two months. So that, you know, and obviously that's going to irritate me because now I got to shut down production. While we, even if it's just, hey, we have a whole bunch of these. We just put it in, but I'm stopping the line and I don't want to stop the line. So there's a couple of ways we look at things. I've had people where I've looked at, listen, let's solve that particular problem in a manner where you never have to change that belt for two years. Or listen, I, I don't have to change the belt in two years, but it's a $10,000 belt. Well, listen, I can give you if you're willing to change that part every month, I can give you a $5 belt that will do the job. And sometimes there's something called preventative maintenance where after a certain amount of time, the performance of that belt drops to such a point where you need to change it anyway. So like the post office, they do a big, big topic these days, the post office, and they're sorting equipment and things like that. These guys change parts out proactively so they have a – consistent level of performance. It's really interesting how it isn't just as simple as swapping on a belt. It's, you know, okay, why and how, how can we make it better? So it's not just, okay, you know, get another belt and put it on, but you might be able to save them literally thousands of dollars by introducing them to a new and better way of doing it. Absolutely, there's a lot of new materials out there. One of the biggest things we deal with now, is, especially in the food industry, is sanitation and how to keep things clean. And there's a couple of great new products out there, depending on what you're doing, that will help you keep your factory clean 
the belts cleaner, a higher level of sanitation, because that's re what's required right now. Absolutely. So, so how would people, how do people reach out to, how can they learn more, my friend? Well, a couple of great things they could do. One is if you're a Facebook or an Instagram person, made on a belt, M-A-D-E-O-N-A-B-E-L-T, because everything in the world is made on a belt. <laughs> um, or you could check out acebelting.com and uh, reach out, 800-211-1380. Uh, Call the office. You'll get me, you'll get or somebody else. And I would really appreciate you taking a few minutes to jump on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Kev. Have a great day.